makes you uh, happy or sad. Broken heart means being sad or hurt. Someone who um, needs help. Sad or hurt. Someone who needs help. Keep going. To proclaim, proclaim liberty. Good. Here, quick. Hold this for me, eh? I can help? Yes, come. All right. All right. You need to learn how to do this well, huh? The men in our family can strike a nail through in one swing. Uh, maybe two, huh? I will allow you two swings on your first try. Now, you won't always be doing carpentry like me. You will be a craftsman of stone and other materials, not just wood. Why, Abba? Because there is not much wood around here. This is a place of rock and stone. <laughs> I picked the wrong business, eh? <laughs> All right. You don't use your whole big arm to swing, eh? Just this part, the bottom half. You just swing from the elbow. That way, you have more control. See? Now, I will hold the nail steady so you don't hurt yourself, and you can swing. What if I hurt your hands? Oh, you have great talent like your Abba. You will be fine. Go ahead. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm just joking, eh? Look what you did there. Halfway. Very good. Hey, I'm sorry, huh? Your goofy Abba cannot help it. <laughs> That's very good. <laughs> Jesus, I have something very special to show you, huh? Go grab that box over there, in the corner. Yes, that one. Thank you, my son. Listen carefully, eh? This is a mule's bit and bridle. Now, you have seen them before, but this one is very special. Thousands of years ago, when our people were finally set free from slavery, as they were leaving, one of our ancestors from the great tribe of Judah used his very bitten bridle to lead his mule laden with supplies out of Egypt. Of course, the mule eventually died, and everything was lost to the wilderness. But this was in his hand when he escaped, so he kept it. The men in our family have handed this down to each other for 40 generations, as a remembrance of our bondage. But more importantly, Jesus, in remembrance of being led to freedom into the Promised Land. It's old, and it's not beautiful but my father handed it to me to own as I am handing it to you. We always joked. Who knows? Maybe one of us will need it one day. I do not suppose you will bear a son. So maybe it will end its journey with you. I cannot leave this earth without passing it on. Thank you, Abba. Hi. 
Jesus. I know I am not your father in the same way that your friend's fathers are. We've talked about this. You understand? But the privilege and the blessing of stewarding your life here on Earth for the short time that I was granted, it is the greatest honor and gift I could ever ask for. Come here, my son. I pray that I have done right by you, Jesus. Hmm?